हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी लिपिन कॉर्ड से हम ये कर रहे हैं एंड द चैप्टर दैट वी आर स्टार्टिंग टूडे इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टी वन विच डील्स विद ड्रग्स यूज फॉर यूरोलॉजिक डिसऑर्डर ठीक है तो जैसे कि हम फार्मा की वीडियो में तरीके कार रखते हैं टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी ओवर व्यू ऑफ दीज ड्रग्स एंड देन वी विल पेक वन बाय वन ईच एंड एवरी यूरोलॉजिक डिसऑर्डर और उनकी फिर ड्रग्स हम डिस्कस करेंगे Let's begin the overview of those drugs which are used for urologic disorders. So, pehla to hai erectile dysfunction and then benign prostatic hyperplasia. Ye naam aapne obviously sune hain. Erectile dysfunction is the uh, important type of thing ke jisme uh, penile erection is, uh, uh, is 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 problematic and this is not normal. So, this is one very common dysfunction, erectile dysfunction. And the other one is the hyperplasia of prostate gland. benign prostatic hyperplasia also abbreviated as bph both of these are common urologic disorders if you talk about males erectile dysfunction is the inability to maintain penile erection for successful performance of sexual activity so you know what does that mean right when the penis is not able to be Uh, maintaining erectness, um, erectile functions are also disturbed. Hai, so the process of copulation and reproduction is all disturbed, and sexual activity is not completed successfully. Erectile dysfunction has many physical as well as psychological causes. In fact, psychological causes can be even more common as compared to the physical causes. So, if uh, somebody uh, presents to you in the clinic with the history of erectile dysfunction, you always have to take care. very 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 deeply if there are any psychological or emotional or mental stuff associated with the disorder but then there are some other diseases which also affect erectile function they include vascular problems diabetes for example um those who have long standing diabetes have erectile dysfunction uh, many of the times there are certain drugs which lead to erectile dysfunction depression and other psychological stuff and sequelae to prostatic surgery so agar prostate ki surgery hui hai because of bph that one of the complication for prostatic surgery is also erectile dysfunction right it is estimated to affect more than 30 million men अलोन इन दूनाइटेड स्टेट दिस इज थर्टी मिलियन इतना कॉमन मतलब तीन करोड़ मैन हो गई है थ्री करोड़ मैन ओनली इन दूनाइटेड स्टेट थिंक अबाउट द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो दैट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डिसऑर्डर बी पी एच इज अ नॉन मेलिग्नेंट इन लार्जमेंट ऑफ द प्रोस्टेट ग्लैंड सो एज द नेम इंडिकेट इज बिनाइन प्रोस्टेटिक हाइपर प्लाइशिया सो देर इज नो मेलिग्नेंसी इन वर्ल्ड एंड अकर्स naturally as men age just as age badhti hai that uh, hyperplasia is common in the prostate as the prostate grows in size lower urinary tract symptoms develop which can significantly impact the patient's quality of life so obviously urethra is passing through and if it increases there is kind of obstruction of urethra and the lower urinary tract symptoms start appearing so that includes dribbling frequency urgency maybe utis and those those sort of stuff okay right a summary of the drugs which are routinely used for erectile dysfunction and benign prostatic hyperplasia is provided in here so actually uh, we will pick up each uh, pick up on each one of these drugs in the upcoming videos jisme hum ye alag alag heads padhenge ki wo tamam drugs hum discuss karenge jo erectile dysfunction ke liye use hoti hain and then obviously will come all those drugs which are used for bph so ye sari drugs aap dekh rahe hain alprostadol uh, and then bph will be a separate topic so obviously do alag alag videos aur banengi today's video was to introduce the topic to you as i always do in pharma pharma mein main hamesha pehle ek general uh, overview ki video bana deta hu aur drug ka ek overview de deta hu so that you have a flavor of what we are talking about okay so erectile dysfunction ke liye we have uh, multiple drugs zara uh, isko dekhein stable ko uh, do you identify any of the drug jo aapko pata ho pehle se uh, at least this is a famous one viagra so viagra is the brand name the generic is the sildenafil and then this uh, if you remember this that sildenafil is viagra then you remember all the categories because they are all fill 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 
Phil, Avanaphil, Tadalafil, Vardenafil, only one is Dil. And, uh, you know, all this is associated with the Dil Dil type of a story, yeah? All associated with the Dil, ye Dil ki baat hai. So, um, you have to find out ways how to remember pharma. Otherwise, pharmacology, you know, is a, is a pretty dry subject, isn't it? So, drugs for erectile dysfunction, don't worry, we'll talk about all of them in great detail. Har ke baare mein hum properties padhenge, right? Then there are drugs which are alpha blockers and then 5-alpha reductase inhibitors and then there are combination products. So all of the drugs, super important. I mean, we use these heavily. We use these heavily when we talk about uh, BPH, for example. So the physiology of BPH, if it is hyperplastic, has to be addressed accordingly. So sometimes there are also not only physical issues, there is hyperplasia of the prostate around it. So the urethra is obstructed and these are called the physical obstructive symptoms. But since the gland is now hyperplastic, there is also physiological changes. So whatever it is producing, sometimes produce more, sometimes Sometimes produce less, so you have to chip in some drugs. Jo yahan se nikalne wali secretions ko bhi control kare. So we have to sometimes use uh, these uh, compounds, which are inhibitors of 5-alpha reductase and blockers of alpha channel. So we'll talk about them when we do uh, the diseases per se. So the the chapter basically the urologic disorders two diseases we are going to focus in chapter number 41 one is erectile dysfunction how to treat erectile dysfunction and the other one is bph how to treat bph both of them are very very common and erectile dysfunction uh, uh, and bph both of them are obviously diseases which are affecting males only. So this chapter I call is the is a very masculine chapter because it is diseases. Uh, these are the diseases which are affecting males only, right? So stay tuned. Agli video hogi erectile dysfunction per, and then the next video will be on BPH. So all the very best. Take care of yourself.